hey what's up guys welcome to the channel just wanted to jump on and make a really quick video um because my sublimation printer um apparently has clogged print heads and so i'm going to open it up and flush them out and um show you guys how i did it i'm not gonna do like a continuous video because i don't have the space to set up for that right now um but i'm going to um just kind of do clips and piece them together and hopefully you guys will get the idea of what i did or what i'm doing but the first thing i'm gonna do is do a nozzle check so um you guys can see because i've ran maybe the print head cleaning about 10 times no change nothing worked and it's still um messing up so we're gonna have to open it up and we're gonna have to flush the print heads this is what i'm getting only black and a little bit of yellow so we're gonna open it up I'll be right back so the first thing you want to do is obviously unplug the printer secondly you want to lift it up and there are some screws one right the one that's in the corner right one right there and one right there the one to the um all the way to the left not that one okay. now that i have those two screws removed i can easily open up the top make sure you don't open it too fast because the um those bands on the left are attached to circuit boards and you don't want to snatch them out because if you do then you have to get a new printer but anyway let's continue now that i have it open and clearly it's more open than i wanted it because i asked my son to hold the top open and he dropped it so some things got detached hopefully i can fix them i don't know anyway moving on so what you want to do slide your things to the middle and yes it does have cartridges um and then you want to take them out hold on okay let's see if i can do this with one hand Use my fat fingers all in the way, but I'm trying to do this with one hand. Yeah, I have these out. Now I can get to where I need to get. First, what I'm gonna do is I fold it up a uh, paper towel and I'm gonna put it under here. Hang on. Okay, now I put my paper towel under here. What I did was I tore the paper towel in half and then folded it um, to fit in that little space under your um, cartridge thing. And then just slid it across so it'll be under there. Now, what I'm going to flush it out with is this. I got it on Amazon. I think it was, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks or something. I have no idea. But um, I saw another YouTuber do this uh, tutorial and she used a similar product, if not this same product, with this. And um, she used some little uh, Q tip type thingies. 
these right here. So that's what I'm using too because this is my first time trying to um, clean the print heads. So hopefully it works. This comes with the gloves and I guess little connector caps. The solution and a syringe. instructions focus I'm recording this on my phone y'all so excuse the bad quality alright okay Okay, so once I got the um, hose and cap attached to the syringe, I put it on the first print head, and I'm going to just give it a little squeeze. Hopefully it's working. Let me see. Yep. See that? It's squeezing out onto the um, napkin. So, you want to do that with all four of your print heads. Okay, so I flushed all the print heads and I put the cartridges back. I didn't show that part because it was a hot mess and trust me. You didn't want to have to sit through that. So now, slide that joker back. Look at all of that. Take this out. And then take the, um, the little oversized Q-tip thingy. And just kind of sop up some of this stuff. As much as I can get, probably not much, but, you know, probably be better. Well, I got some, but not a lot. If I put some of the solution on it and then try to soak it up. I don't know. Be right back. Okay, so I was trying to put the printer back together and remember I told y'all my son dropped the lid so these little things came loose but I couldn't put them back the right way the way that it was um, with the access that I had at that time so what I had to do was take the side of the printer the side you know of the printer off which no screws it just pop right off so I can put these back into the motherboard right here I know y'all can't see that right there and I already got the other one right here so I just need to put this one right here this um uh, this one right there but if you don't know like about circuit boards and things like that please don't try to do this i have an engineering background um and i know you know how to build circuit boards and things like that so i was confident in kind of dealing with it so let me get that hooked up and be right back okay i got it all put back together Oh, and the reason why this is on here is because my Cricut lives on top of this thing. So, I put this right here so it won't slip and slide. So, what I'm going to do now 
is go to maintenance and do a nozzle check just to see if I did right. So now that I got it put back together, I'm going to do a print head cleaning. And that's going to take about three minutes or so. So I'll be back. Okay, so after I got everything put back together, I did a print head cleaning. Um, and then I did a test print. I got all the colors except magenta so um, I'm not gonna run another print head cleaning but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna open this thing back up and um, the little white cartridges that y'all saw in there I'm gonna take the um, q-tip or maybe try to flush some solution through there because that might be the problem so hopefully I don't know we'll see Okay, y'all, so absolutely do not do this at home. Make sure you got it all put back together before you even plug it back up. But for me, the print heads still seem to be clogged, and I'm the type of person who needs to see stuff in action. So that's why I plugged it back up while it was still open so I could see what else I might need to take apart to, um, fix the problem so this is what the innards look like just in case y'all was wondering now let me do a test print and I'll be right back okay y'all I am back it's been about 45 minutes since I recorded the last clip okay so listen now I don't know if what I did could have been avoided like taking it apart and cleaning the print heads and all that I have no idea, but my goofy self decided to do a Google search because after I did all of that, my printer wasn't printing. I mean, like it was going through the motions of printing, but every single page, page came out blank. Nothing was on it. So I did a Google search and they said, do a power cleaning. How I did not know that that was an option. I've had five Epson printers over the last six or seven years, had no idea about the power cleaning function. So I did a power cleaning, and guess what? Look at this. Perfect. Perfect. All the things, no missing segments, no nothing. <laughs> so I don't know if that fixed the problem or if my foolishness along with that fixed the problem. I have no idea don't even care at this point i'm over it but bottom line is i'm back in business and i can get back to work so um don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will see you guys on the next video bye